I have the control of the person's hands. I'm never going to be able to reach for his neck before I pass his hands. I, I have the control of his hands. I'm going to open up, take his hand out of the way, and just snap his head down. When I say snap his head down, like a, at the same time that I, like a, I tuck my hand under his chin, I snap his neck. I snap his head down. I cannot do this before because if I put his head down and I try to put the chin, it's not going to work. So I have to almost do it at the same time. It's a little bit like a tap. You know what I mean? Everything at the same time. So I go here, just kind of at the same time. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> so everything at the same time. So I go there. As I'm like, a, set my hand under his chin and my hand on the back of, 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 his, of his neck. I pull under the arm that is under his chin. The same side that I have my hand under his chin, I pull under the armpit. And the, the hand that was on top, connects on top of the other hand. So I go there. Pull the head, connects on top. Goes on the same side, right? So I go there, just go there. As I'm doing this, I start pulling him to my guard. I start pulling him like a close to me, but then my elbow goes up. My elbow goes on front of his shoulder, because I want to keep that space. If he drives into me, he's going to stop me like to move. So I need to get my elbow on front of his shoulder. On front of his shoulder, as if it was like a framing, as if I'm just going to block him away. So you need to feel like, a, oh, he cannot get that close. Your elbow is not uh, soft. So I go there. I don't, I don't feel like I'm that flexible, like, like Kimura or Americana. But with a little bit of help of your, your hip, your elbow goes really high. So you don't really have to be flexible to get your elbow. This is my flexibility. When I get on my side, my elbow goes like a right, right, like a, a straight up. So, I'm pulling close to me, and I'm pulling close, uh, towards one side. The side that I have his head on the mark, I pull him towards that side. And the reason why, because I cannot let him pass my guard. If he pass my guard towards this side, he's gonna have like a full guard pass, and then he's gonna have his neck uh, free. When I say free, like not in a choke. He's not gonna feel like a, he, he needs to tap. So I go there, same side, I cannot let him pass. I lock everything. I don't care about the other side, I care about this side. Anything that I can kind of... So I'm blocking to hit the path on the other side. If I have like an extra um, open, if I have an extra open, leg goes on top of the shoulder. If you give it to me, leg goes on top of the shoulder. Just so I can get more control and more leverage to squeeze and, and make him tap quicker, almost like. So, I can choose, I can choose leg under, or I can have leg over. With the leg over, means that you're gonna be able to pull more and push more. So you're gonna really like a force more the choke. But the whole time I'm holding his neck. I cannot pull as much as that kind of like break the position. So I pull as much so I can stay tight, but I don't wanna pull and just connect the position. So, what do I do, yes? Turn, 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 turn. Once I do this, I cannot expose his neck. I cannot move away. So this means like I'm open up. So once I do this, I'm staying really close, really high on his neck. Because I want to maintain the choke. If I pull, maybe it can be really strong and kind of like a make it tap because if he's going to have, it's going to pop. But I believe like if the guy is strong too, you're just going to disconnect. So instead of disconnect, I just keep the choke. Stay super tight. Choose your favorite side. Let's go try this. <laughs> Guys, we went over like step by step, but if I can add one more step, just kind of like a, like break it in a little bit more, I'll, I'll look for this. When I go here, I almost like just get my, my butt out of the floor. Just to reach a little higher, just a little higher. In case the push is not so close, in case he's maybe Little extra taller than you, you know. So if he's not close, if he's low, you know, I mean, if he's low, but I don't have, I don't have to do anything like that. But if you feel the person's like, oh, he's almost there, you need just a little extra, just kind of, just get slightly get your butt out of the floor a little bit. But this is like a, if you have to really force the guillotine, if the person not give it to you, and then you feel like, I feel like I have, I want to just ha have a little bit more exposure from him. He's not giving it to you, but I want to get a little bit more. 
But this was just so he can do the guillotine. But I believe a lot of you guys did the guillotine. A lot of you guys know the guillotine, but sometimes we have a problem to fit in the guillotine in the middle of the rolling. In the middle of like a momentum. In the middle of like he attack and then you defend and then you connect the guillotine. That's when it gets a little bit more tricky, right? So just so I invite him to stand a little bit more like an action and explosion and more giving from the other person. He's not just a boy, he's not just a boy. Sometimes he's gonna have to move forward and that'll be the best time to connect like a, a guillotine in between that move. So just so we can experience that, let's do the whole move with, with a timing. When I say a time, like when he got a little bit off of the ground, when he got a little bit more off like a, uh, off of his base, you try connect the guillotine. So if you have a good guillotine, now you have to try fitting the guillotine in between positions. So if I have this, I'm gonna almost like get him off of the ground. And then go on the guillotine. I'm feeling the, the guillotine in between a, a scenario, in between a situation. I, I move that out, we, we, we provoke like a reaction or action, and then we just try to do the guillotine in between that. Anything, you know what I mean? Anything. So be like, be like, just go that. Anything. So be like, just get him up. Just get him like off of his base. And feed the, don't wait till he land, and then you do the same thing that we just did. Try feeding the guillotine when the person is off of the ground. When the person is kind of like, kind of uh, elevated by your leg. So, I can do this, two hands, and go there. I can be on the elbow, and go there. I can be on the shoulder, and then go there. We have to figure out like when he's too close, and push him away. If you feel like, oh, he's too close, I can't do it, push him away. And try again once he kind of like off of us. If you pull the person over here, and I try to do the guillotine, it's not going to work, and he's off the ground, but I cannot do it, so push him off. Just, just set him right where you want to. So let's figure that out. Let's go try, guys.